to all the guests on board. I ask that you please just lower the volume just a little bit. Some of my guests are saying they're not able to hear my narration. Thank you. Now, before we get to our number tour, I want to go over just a little bit of what this is free to you. Yesterday. I thought about it yesterday when I saw it. Don Corleone.
And when take a look over to the right, you're going to see the great building here. With the double in door. This is First African Baptist Church. Church was built, completed in 1859. Everyone is church was built by slaves from the Brackton Plantation. It was a 10-year project that's due to the fact that daytime hours had to be dedicated to slave labor. And the only source of light was actually candlelight, everyone. Wow. Now, if you went inside the church, the basement floor, and you did the tour, they take you down on the basement floor. It's going to be covered in gold. And that's due to the fact that many times slaves from the Underground Railroad, they will bring them there, hide them underneath the floors below. <clears throat> and the gold was a source of ventilation, everyone. Take a look over to your left. That monument, that is the Haitian monument, that is to honor the over 500 Haitians that fought on our side during the American Revolutionary War. They were thought to be the largest black unit to actually fight in that war. Mm -hmm. Pizza. toward uh, St. Augustine and compare them. <laughs> Gator. Coming up on your left, everyone has got to be Tail Fair Square. Now, Tail Fair Square, this was the fair, one of the first four squares to be developed. It was named by Elwood. Tail Fair, he was now a very first royal governor. Now, take a look here to your right, everyone. Originally built in the 1830s, everyone, this was the Tail Fair family home. Now, when Elwood Tail Fair died, that home was left to his son, Alex, and upon his death, the home was left to his sister, Mary. Now, Mary always wanted the family home to turn into an art museum upon her death. She went into the Georgia Historical Society. They did carry out her wish because in 1869, it became the very first public art museum here in the Southeast. 
Get recreated. Right now look over to your left. You're going to see. Right there. Marlene Scrabble's name for the Battle of New Orleans back in 1812. <laughs> now look over to your left and stand up the Scrabble statue there. You see? Now, not the statue, the fountain. That is the German memorial fountain. That is the honor of the German immigrants that came to our city of Savannah. Back in the 1800s, everyone. And that was the last fountain to be placed in the historic district, everyone. These houses. Oh, we're, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go recreate the, the Forrest Gump saying, Life is like a book of scratch offs. You never know what you're gonna get. Parker's folks, I was built in 1897. This home was built at the time it was considered to be one of the most beautiful homes on the East Coast, everyone. We have individuals that can travel all the way from South Carolina to come over just to get an outside view of the home. Now, when the family had the home built, they put some stipulations in place. And one of their stipulations were that only a bloodline relative could own that property that still stands through the day. No matter how many millions of dollars you got to stack, if you are not a bloodline relative, you cannot own the property. You can lease it, but you cannot own it. Now, everyone take a look just ahead. To your left, you're going to see the uh, Barrow House. That's the back side of the Barrow House. Construction started on this home in 1844 and finished in 1847. Take a close look at the black fence out front. It is called the Fence of Presidents and Poets. On the center of the fence, you will see medallions. Everyone that knows medallions are actual fence of famous statesmen and poets. Now, when I cross the street, I'll try to slow the trolley down, everyone, to make sure you can get here really nice view of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can still look around in this area today, you can still see a lot of these properties there. Now, the beautiful market works in that store. Now, take a look at what you have in the hill side, everyone. You can get a really nice front view of the Barrow House and see the beautiful onion works that's attached to that property. All right, this next one of interest, I started adding into my tour about five years ago when I found out how fascinated most people were. Look to the right, the lower part of the house is going to be the fish water spout. Now, if you miss that one, don't worry, everyone. Get another view at the house of the building here as well. Everyone look over to the left and set up a square of the statue there. You see, that's our colony's founder, James Walker Thorpe. And many people say that he favors Captain Morgan, everyone. <laughs> Try 
show of hands, how many of you are Julia Robert fans? Did you see her movie, Something to Talk About? Yes. You remember the scene in the movie when she called her husband cheating with the mistress? Yes. That scene was filmed right there to the right outside of the six pace pub. Ah. Yeah, that's when she looked through the window, oh. saw him having yeah. dinner with the mistress and called him outside on the sidewalk. And he got quite a few movies that were filmed on location here in Savannah. Something to talk about is one. From your other start, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, the original King Fear starring Robert Mitchum. The longest yard Robert for Reynolds Glory starred in Denzel Washington, and the legend of Bag of Bands was Will Smith. Now, the 1977 was a famous miniseries, Roots. How many of you remember Roots? Okay, you had one episode of Roots along with the other movie film right here on location. y'all we're gonna stop this one and start another one up y'all enjoy this tour we're gonna get a guy off here for sure probably see y'all on the next one